Identifying charting patterns allows us to predict potential future movements in price. This is called technical analysis. A very common technical tool is what we would call a trend line. You're probably very familiar with a trend line and we can draw one on MT4 by activating this icon up here. By clicking it, I'm now able to drop a trend line on this pound dollar chart on the one hour time frame. As we can see, price is moving downwards, we're in a downtrend. Okay, so we can drop in the trend line somewhere similar to this. Getting it in perfectly the first time around is, is generally quite difficult, but you can easily edit that trend line just by double clicking. You'll see these small squares appear. Now we're able to manipulate this line with ease by changing the gradient, extend, extending it across, etc. Um, as you can see, our trend line has extended all the way down our chart. I'm a big fan of, of making this line just a bit thicker. If you had any preferences along those lines, you can just right click trend line properties and you can change the color. Let's go for a nice blue color, bit of a thicker line, click in here. Generally for neatness, I'm a fan of just going to our parameters and unclicking ray, which allows it our trend line to stop where we stop extending it across and it will look something similar to that. Next to our trend line, we have the option to draw a horizontal line and these can be used for our support and resistance levels. By clicking our, our horizontal line, we can again drop it in at our chosen level. We may opt for a level similar to this, which demonstrates some support, which turns into resistance. Again, by double clicking that line and right clicking, we have some properties where we're able to change again the color, thickness, etc. Perfect. If we do see um, a channel, we're able to depict that. I'll just find a chart where we have a channel, perhaps New Zealand dollar. Here's a nice channel where we may need to, we may like to cover the peaks and the troughs of this particular area here. By drawing in a horizontal line and simply holding down control and extending that line above, you'd have to double click it first and there we go, we've identified the channel. Similarly, we can change the color if we need to or perhaps the thickness of the line. 